What does this mean? <laughs> He says he wants to be the star of today's video. In 2020 in the middle of confinement, my ex adopted a kitten. I didn't want the kitten, I didn't want animals in the house. But, I said this because I had never had a cat in my life. I fell in love with the kitty right away and I would like to think that she fell in love with me too. Her name is Tototo and she is my daughter. She has my genes, my DNA inside her. It is good DNA. The plan was that this kitty would go to live with my ex after quarantine and would no longer be in my home. I would be able to see her, but it wouldn't be the same. The thought of being separated from her made me very sad, so I asked if I could keep her and my ex agreed. In order for my ex to have a cat, we adopted another one, still in quarantine. Yes, at that time we had two cats at home. And I was happy, his name is Chuku and he is also my son, he has my DNA inside him. They both grew up happy, although I admit that I was the happiest with those hairballs. I had never experienced anything like that, I swear. The cats have grown up, they are more than two years old and they are big beasts. Since we broke up, Chuko lives with my ex and Tototo with me. Both she and I knew that in order for the cats not to be alone, we would have to adopt others now that they live separately. This summer I had to travel a lot and I couldn't take care of another kitten. So, I took advantage of my ex's every trip to offer to take care of Chuku and he would be with me. Toti. But summer is over and it's time to adopt another kitten, my daughter's future sibling. How will it go? She is a territorial cat and attacks all animals. I have problems when I take her to my mother's house because she tries to attack my sister's dog. Once she even attacked a German shepherd that was five times her size. Now that you're all caught up, join me today to look for the new kitten. We already have it. What's up? Hello, don't be afraid. It's not heavy at all. It is tiny. That's it, calm down. Here it is. The poor guy was scared at the beginning and kept hiding. The same thing Toady did the first days. And he kept peeing on all the towels. The goal was to make him feel at peace. And to make him feel at home. I was going to devote the whole day to it. I was in no hurry. Here he peed again. <laughs> Is it here? Toadie is not very happy about this. Not here, not here. Oh, my hand smells because I touched the other cat. Let's see, recognition. Yes, there's a cat. It's licking me and wants to get its smell off me. An hour after arriving, he no longer resisted my massages. If I didn't pet him, he would hide and not come out until I was gone. I stayed until he saw that I was not a threat. I tried to play but he was still afraid, so I waited.
After a while, I caught it and it didn't run away. He even fell asleep. And me a little bit too. What's up? Hello. How handsome you are. You are very handsome. Get some rest. Look how sleepy you are. Here it is already hidden behind me. And after a while I noticed how his look was different. There was a glimmer of confidence in his eyes. He was still hesitant but comfortable. He's licking me. He's under here, and he's licking me. <laughs> and at night, the purring came. On the first day, he went from being afraid of me to feeling at peace. And since neither he nor I were sleepy, we started to play. For a long time until he fell asleep. Me too. The following day. Let it dissipate. The next morning, Toto was downstairs and I left him on the bed for a while while I took a shower. Well, when I came back he had peed on the sheets. What does that mean? <laughs> and in the next chapter we'll see how Totoro meets Loki.